What's good, my good people? BG Allah Witches here, man. And I want to talk about the people that's exposing or trying to expose passport bros. Um, there's no problem exposing people, which I do believe a lot of these passport bros need to be exposed. That's that's online. All right, like honestly, that's what I believe. Um, but I think there's a way that you should do it. Um, I understand that a lot of times on the internet it's about shock value, and but to me, when you expose somebody, excuse me, do it with class. Um, you don't have to call people names. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to call people soft with sissies and none of that type of stuff, man. Um, but just do it with class. Believe me, it's, 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 it's people down here in the Philippines where I'm at now that's exposing a lot of these expats and passport bros for their fraudulent things and for them down here doing sex tourism and disrespecting the women down here and making them look like something else than, than what they are. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, with the Pample bro brothers exposing each other, the black people exposing each other. Hey man, like, use for eloquence, man. Like, stop stop using the N-word. Stop dog on doing all this cuss, not cuss, but stop doing all this, all this type of cussing and and all that type of stuff, man. Do it with elegance. You know what I'm saying? Do it what people will want to listen. A broad audience will want to listen to you if you're not using the N-word all the time. All right? And if you're not sitting here trying to quote Bible scriptures and all this and all that, <laughs> but then you got doggone filthy talk, filthy language. You know what I'm saying? And what I... <laughs> What I don't like the most is some of the people that's exposed, trying to expose Pablo Brothers, they don't have their comments on. So, therefore, you can talk all the trash you want to talk, but nobody can respond back to you. But, you know what I'm saying, because your comments are, com are cut off, but you can respond to them on their videos because they don't have their comments cut off. And I think that's weak. You know what I'm saying? This is social media. It's just what it is. If you're able to do that, comment on somebody, open your stuff up too, man. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I have no problem with exposing them because a lot of them need to be exposed. All right. Another thing. Now, a lot of people that try to expose the passport bros. Is lumping everybody in the same category. Like, I'm in the Philippines, you know what I'm saying? I don't consider myself a passport, bro. I'm just a man that got his, got his uh, passport and traveled on to the Philippines, going to travel to Thailand or wherever else I want to travel to to get experience. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but a lot of y'all lump everybody in the same category where everybody think bad about black men. Who travels? Every black man that travels not on some sex tourism shit. Every black man that travels not on some prostitution shit. Excuse my French. But, you know, some of us want to travel and, 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 and gain some fucking um, some culture, some knowledge, some experience. You know what I'm saying? People want to become seasoned, well seasoned. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people want to enjoy their life and do something different. A lot of y'all like to group us all together. You know what I'm saying? I don't even call myself passport bros. Honestly, I don't. I don't. I don't. A lot of people that jump on trying to expose the passport bros is also they just jumping on the bandwagon because that's what's hot. A lot of times it made them make them in better uh better with the females, you know what I'm saying? 
A lot of females would support you if you talk against the Proud Boy Bros. Because the Proud Boy Bros have a manosphere, alpha male type of mentality. And a lot of alpha males and alpha male, the red pill, they, they uh, support the passport bros. You know what I'm saying? But like I said again, these mugs need ex uh, exposing. All right. So when you're exposing the passport bros, another thing I don't like is that y'all take videos of people <laughs> Black men mostly. Y'all take these videos of them um, after the fact that they pay for a prostitute, having problems with them. So y'all take that video and, and put that up and, and say that's all passport bros. That's all black men that's traveling. Y'all say that. See, this is what y'all about. Passport bro, this is what y'all about. All right. What y'all understand is good to expose, but the main thing people need to expose is the main people that's putting these videos out, not just these random people that don't nobody know. You need to expo uh, expose the people who is putting this image out, that's putting this message out. That is, that is why you're getting these videos from these other unknowns when they're praying for hoes. So expose the people that's bringing them over there to do that. You know what I'm saying? Do it with knowledge. Do it with grace. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do all the name calling. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. You don't have to do all the shock factor stuff. Because damn it, damn it, they need exposed. They need to be exposed. But don't expose the people that's being influenced by the main people. Expose the main people and say these main people is who was influencing these other people to do this stuff. Expose the main people that's doing that. And like I said, I think they need to be exposed. Like I said, I've been down here in the Philippines for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been here long enough while I can get a Six month extension. I might get another six month extension in a few months and all that. And I can tell you for myself, man, people on there is lying. But like I said in my last video, that um, I stopped watching a lot of the Passport Bro stuff before I, months before I even came down here because you can kind of feel it. You can see it. You can see a lot of these people full of crap. You can kind of see there was probably cornballs here in the States. And I'm not saying I'm not all, I'm not saying that I'm all that, man. Know what I'm saying? But I never had a freaking problem. Over, I don't have a problem with Western women. I don't have a problem with my own black women. Um, you know, I have <laughs> I have black women in my family, so there's no way I'm gonna disrespect my own race. Even though I'm dating a Filipino right now, I, I'm not gonna disrespect my own race, and I'm pretty sure that my lady is not gonna disrespect hers. And that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? But I say good job to the people that are, that are exposing a lot of these frauds eloquently. You know what I'm saying? And I heard one dude trying to, another passport bro or expat trying to expose another person, but they're calling him N-words and all this and all that, man. Uh, unintelligible talk. Like one guy, so I can't even understand what he talk. I can't even like barely listen to him, so I can't understand what he's saying. You, you're being too cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, how uh, exposed with elegance, man, with knowledge, with smarts, with proper talk. You didn't hear Malcolm X talking the way y'all talk. Y'all didn't hear Muhammad Ali talking the way y'all talk. Y'all didn't hear Martin Luther King talking the way y'all talk. And this is to the black folk. Y'all talk with ignorance, trying to expose each other. 
They are not leaders. This is not a war. It's not even your country. <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. But to all the people that's exposing certain passport rules the right way, I congratulate you. And I say keep on doing it. All right. And just like here in the Philippines, there's a lot of expat videos. Uh, I stopped messing with them before I even came down here, man. A lot of creep. I mean, you can tell a lot of them creeps. But creepy people down here in the Philippines, expats, they fist fighting each other. You know what I'm saying? They got Doomageddon, and they call Doomageddon Dramageddon because there's a whole bunch of drama down there. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we we bring this Western crap to another country, man. And uh, then when we have people trying to expose, when has trying to expose you, you want to put in a copyright, not a copyright strike, but you want to try to put in something to get a channel taken down, like y'all did with a uh, uh, expect trash, excuse me, expects trash exposed, uh, which was a, a a YouTube channel which exposed. Tragic expats <laughs> here in the Philippines. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't cuss. They didn't. And, and a lot of them was mainly about the Caucasian race, but they weren't calling them any type of names. No, they were just telling the facts, the truth. They weren't in their feelings. Like a lot of these people that's trying to expose uh, Papa Bro and expert, they're being their freaking feelings. All right, you gotta understand there's two type of people that expose there's people from America that's trying to expose them. there's people that's abroad that's trying to expose all right, and a lot of times people in America they don't know what's really going on, they just know what they see and hear. you know what I'm saying then you got the people that know you know what I'm saying, but a lot of people that know because they over here they full of crap themselves, like I said before, it's all a money grab man. Like I said, exposed, but exposed with wisdom. So I try to get shock value so everybody can listen to you. A lot of people are not going to listen to you because you're talking smart. You're cussing. You're calling people names. You're saying the N-word. You're not being eloquent. You're not. You're not. You're not being sophisticated. You're not delivering the message in an educated manner. So... That's what I'm going to talk about, man. But I did do a video earlier about why all the hate for the passport, bros. But I do understand now because I recognize myself. There's a lot of BS out there. And you can tell. All right, so... Well, now if I do another video about talking about this, I probably go on because I got a, I got, I got a lot of feelings about uh, a lot of these passport bro videos, man, uh, and expat. So, y'all check me out, man. Subscribe to my channel. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to really make money on YouTube. I'm just, I'm just trying to guys gonna share my experience. I'm not trying to bait you into paying me for any consultations or none of that stuff, man. Just uh. I'm just trying to warn y'all. And that's it, man. And show my experience, man. All right. No hoes included. <laughs> All right. This is BG Out of Witches, man. BG Out of Witches lives up in the Philippines. And y'all do one thing for me. Y'all motherfuckers just keep on banging. Peace.